not at a perfect angle, but I wanted to show you this tent that I've been using for a while. It's called the Featherlight 1P tent. I believe it's the Obsidian model. I'm not sure about that, but I believe that's what it's called. Anyway, there's a the symbol, you'll know when you're looking at it. It costs 125, 130 bucks actually. And it is amazing actually. I've used it about seven or eight times, maybe more. It has a really nice deep tub uh, that comes up right here. You can see, it has this white mesh, so you get a little bit more reflection instead of dark mesh. The new model looks like it's dark black mesh, so you can see e more easily outside of it. Mm, I don't really care about that kind of stuff myself. I can see out of it just fine. And uh, it's a freestanding tent. And I use these small stakes I've used, but for years now. These are super awesome, especially in bulletproof you went ground. They haven't broken, I haven't broken a single one. I've broken MSR groundhogs, I've broken MSR polymers, I've broken all kinds of stuff. But these, these are the money, and they weigh 0.4 ounces a piece. Really, really help reduce the weight. You stake out four corners and you put these orange poles in. Then step two, after you, you know, this is already assembled, the the structure. You, you bend this once those are in, and you bend it all the way down to this middle dude right there. And uh, then you just start putting on these awesome clips. You've all probably seen these pretty standard these days. And uh, if you can see on the inside, I put a soda in my own little guy line in there to hold my entertainment center. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna finish setting this up. Oh yeah, this doesn't have anything on the end that it really connects to. It's it's it doesn't have a pointy end like a stake would. It actually just has, goes into these little pockets right here. So you can just grab that while you're holding this one with the other hand. You just put them in the sock. And what that does is that allows this, once the rain flies on, not to poke a hole in your rain fly. I've got this down to about two point, I believe it's 2.5 pounds or 2.3 pounds, something like that. Fairly lightweight for a one person tent. I'm sure there's other lightweight ones, but for 125 or 128 bucks, that's really durable. I would definitely say buy it. It's, I mean, I've used it in the winters in all kinds of frosted conditions, um, early snow conditions, um, freezing, hot conditions, super windy conditions, actually 60 mile an hour wind gusts uh, I've had up here when I was way over here during a thunder and lightning storm. Not my fault. But anyway, let me put the rest on so you see what it looks like. All right, here's the finished product of the awesome Featherlight tent. So, got a good vent right here. Uh, there's a nice symbol. <laughs> so, I've clipped it and I you just pull these tight down there. I gotta pull this guy a little tight actually, right there. And then, you wanna pull this one too. Pro tip, when you're setting this up, between the second and third clip doodahs there, you wanna, there's a tie off there and there's a tie off there. The, that helps your uh, the rain fly not shift during winds and things of that nature. There's also a tie off right here between the first and second uh, clips, pull clips. And uh, there's a guy out here for wind. It does come with an extra guy out uh, point right there and rope and also right here and right there. And uh, yeah, so that's how I have it set up. Pro tip here too, bring some extra small of these ultralight stakes. Um, instead of hooking this rainfly up to this one and putting all the stress on that one, what I do actually is I put it over here on the side. It helps get a tighter pitch over on this side. And uh, over here, it's a little further apart, but that's just how a cookie crumbles sometimes. Um, but uh, really nice, you got some extra storage space right here on the inside if you want to use it like for a pack or something like that. I do pack hanging, so it's not really that big of a deal unless it's like going to downpour like crazy. And nice Velcro to keep this uh, rain from going down into your flying escaping here. Good shoe room right here. Here, let me roll this up real quick. All right, so I just rolled up the window. It has this nice reflector on here. You got a reflector out there and a reflector at here, so at night and one up here too for the door. So when you're out at night, yeah, you can see where you chance at and you don't trip over stuff. So the new one I've noticed uh, unzips way further, which is really, really cool. Featherlight, if you want me to test that, just reach out to me and I will test that and review it because I really loved your tents. Uh, anyway, um, really nice deep tub here. You're not gonna get wet in this sucker. 
I've actually brought this one, like I said, in multiple kinds of conditions. Did not have a huge humidity problem, even though there's just this vent here, uh, right back in here. And then got these nice uh, ultralight cords for the zippers, really high visibility. And so like the nice thing about having a gray, stone gray tent versus a green tent, which I really like green tents, is that uh, the stone gray actually reflects heat better than the darker colors, who would have thought, you know? So it's not so hot in here. Um, I keep this up unless it's raining to sleep at night, and it really helps with the condensation. Anyway, the uh, overall length on this right here, I believe is 72 inches. When I wait in this thing, now I'm sacrificing the dirt in here because I usually don't. So my head is touching the end of the tent back here. And I've got about a foot of space between my feet and the end right there. It fits a, it fits an entire um, uh, sleeping pad, standard length sleeping pad in here uh, with, a, with a, you know, a little bit of room to spare about that much to spare here in a big corner if you're using a um, a 20 inch pad or 25 inch pad. Awesome. Anyway, this is the awesome tent. And, uh, so uh, that is the obsidian tent. And uh, what a great tent that is. I highly recommend buying it. It's on Amazon, uh, you know, Tents these days are really hit and miss. There's a lot of junk that's out there, especially when you go down on price range. This right here is killer. So I've, I've like I said, I've been in downpours with this thing. So anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope you might consider buying this tent for yourself. I've not paid by them or sponsored or anything. It's just a product I love and really would highly recommend out here. And uh, yeah. Go for it, get out there. The season for summer is ending and fall is starting soon. Uh, but I encourage you to camp all four seasons because it's amazing. Um, just buy the right gear. So uh, anyway, until next time, hopefully this meant something for you. Have a great day.